Alrighty, yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 back with another reaction video. Today we finna react to top 10 craziest NFL fights. Uh yeah, man. The NFL season is about to start up. We got preseason coming up this Thursday. So for the rest of this week, we finna get hype for uh the Bears and the Texans. And then we'll have to wait till next week. Then we'll have to wait till damn near next weekend. Just to get some more uh preseason games. So yeah, man. Without further ado, man, let's get right into it. NFL is back, man. I'm I'm trying to get a, a sponsorship with uh prize picks or somebody because I, I need I need some money. I need me some money. I need to get me a sponsorship with prize picks, underdog, whoever, 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 whoever trying to fuck with the kid, just let me know. I I I I'll take anybody as long as you paying. I need, I need some. And something like this is bound to happen. Maybe a while before he celebrates again. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest NFL fights. They're throwing punches back and forth, and uh, there'll be ejections here. And I mean bodies from both sidelines. Come racing out in front of the Lions bench. And another fight is broken out. Well, this is a real one. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most insane altercations, scuffles, and fights in NFL history. What's the craziest fight your favorite team has ever been a part of? Be sure to share with us in the comment section below. Now, let's get to some foot brawl. Number 10, Steve Smith Sr. versus Malcolm Jenkins. Oh, we should expect to see a lot of Steve Smith on here. Steve Smith did not fuck around. Steve, Steve Smith is the definition of fucking around to find out. That nigga did not play. That nigga will fuck you up. Carolina Panthers versus New Orleans Saints, 2011. Steve Smith is just something else. After making an amazing grab during a game against the New Orleans Saints, the wide receiver easily ran for the touchdown, but was hit late by safety Roman Harper. As a scuffle ensued shortly after between players from both teams, you'd think that Smith would go after the player who actually hit him, but he was so fired up he just went for the first opposing player he saw. And a fight is going on in the end zone, and Cam Newton has run all the way in there with the entire offense and defensive teams. And that unfortunate soul was safety Malcolm Jenkins. Smith absolutely manhandles him and throws him to the ground. Smith's demeanor as he sticks up for himself, along with the fact that he made sure to celebrate before getting himself involved, makes this skirmish all the more memorable. Number 9. Santana Moss vs. Corey Webster, Washington Football Team vs. the New York Giants, 2009. Sometimes blocking can turn into face clocking. On one play during a game between these two division rivals, wide receiver Santana Moss blocked cornerback Corey Webster, and everything fell apart very quickly. The two immediately started fighting, and things escalated even further when Webster knocked off Moss's helmet. Moss punched Webster, and the cornerback pulled Moss to the ground as their teammates surrounded the fighting football players. Corey Webster is shadowing Santana Moss the entire game, and you never know how that's going to play out when the referee finally sees the altercation, but from what I can tell, that was all Santana Moss. The dirty debacle resulted in personal foul calls on both players. Surprisingly, neither Moss nor Webster was ejected for this scrap. However, the league did hand out $5,000 fines for the fight after the game was over. Number 8. Joey Porter vs. William Green, Pittsburgh Steelers vs. Cleveland Browns, 2004. These two didn't even make it to kickoff before throwing punches. About an hour before the game started, Joey Porter and William Green exchanged some less than friendly words. Of course, these not-so-nice words quickly escalated to intense blows. Right in the middle Eight. there, that is Joey Porter, number 55, William Green, number 31, the running back for the Browns, and they are exchanging blows. The scuffle resulted in a bloody lip for Green and $10,000 fines for both players. They were ejected from the game before it even began. While this fight is already pretty bad, the fact that spitting was also involved takes the disrespect of this brawl to an entirely different level. Number 7, Buddy Ryan versus Kevin Gilbride. Houston Oilers versus themselves? 1994. Not all football brawls happen on the field or even between opposing players. 
Throughout the entire 1993-1994 season, Houston's defensive coordinator Buddy Ryan and offensive coordinator Kevin Gilbride were at odds with each other. Their disagreements came to a head during the final game of the regular season against the New York Jets. Has Buddy Ryan taken a swing at Kevin Fuck it, I had enough. We about to get fired. Before we get fired, I'm gonna fuck you up. At the end of the first half, Ryan and Gil started yelling at each other despite the fact that the Oilers were up 14 to nothing. Once they were close enough, Ryan punched his fellow coach. Gilbride stumbled as he tried to return the favor, and players quickly separated their coaches. Despite the fight, the Oilers would go on to win the game. Number 6. Odo Beckham Jr. vs. Alec Ogletree. Damn. New York Giants vs. St. Louis Rams 2014. I'll tell you, this game's got a chance to get ugly. It might get ugly right now. It is getting ugly right now. You can see this Damn, the cameraman got beat up. Damn. During a play in this matchup between the Giants and the Rams, inside linebacker Alec Ogletree dragged wide receiver Odo Beckham Jr. out of bounds in a rather aggressive fashion. And this may be a flag. Odell being Odell wasn't having it, and he retaliated. It only took a matter of seconds for things to get out of control, and everything and everyone went from zero to a hundred real quick. Three players were ejected, and almost $60,000 in fines were given. However, this wouldn't be the last time Odell Beckham Jr. had himself an intense altercation with an opposing player on defense. More on that later. Number 5. Jalen Ramsey vs. AJ Green, Jacksonville Jaguars vs. the Cincinnati Bengals, 2017. Oh, there's a fight behind the play! Flags come flying in! With the clock winding down to halftime, after a light push from wide receiver AJ Green, cornerback Jalen Ramsey shoved him to the ground. It quickly escalated with Green putting Ramsey into a headlock, pulling him to the ground, and repeatedly punching him. Both teams rushed to the scuffle, resulting I think in a Green pile of players. Up. Green and Ramsey were both ejected for the altercation. After the game, both players gave their side of the story. I was out there doing what I do, locking the receiver up, talking that talk. That nigga People got think, Draymond you know, Green, Green. Hell no. Nah. Like they got hands put to Green his face. Also, he ain't never played Jalen Ramsey Hell before. Nah. While Ramsey claimed he got inside Green's head with his trash talk, Green claimed he was defending himself and apologized for his uncharacteristically extreme reaction. The only thing more surprising than the brawl itself was that no suspensions were given, although Green did receive a $42,000 fine. Number four, Odell Beckham Jr. versus Josh Norman. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is this Carolina is by Panthers far the best one. This the These best two, one. Wow. These two are still going at it. Like the top shit out of receiver versus a top cornerback. You just love to see it. The media was hyping this matchup all throughout the week, but no one expected it to play out like this. If these officials would watch what's going on, they got to be real careful. The Giants do because if this continues, there's not only going to be a penalty on Beckham, there's a chance he gets tossed. Throughout this regular season showdown between the Carolina Panthers and the New York Giants back in 2015, Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. and Panthers cornerback Josh Norman got into several exchanges. I mean, at some point, this is ridiculous. As the game went on, the tension between both players grew. And picks up a first down, and there's Beckham again. What is going on? Have you seen a guy this thrown off his game before? Beckham, who had been having a rough game, took out his anger on Norman by rushing into him head Boom. first. Norman naturally retaliated by putting a knee to Beckham's head. A ref put a stop to the fight before it got too out of hand, and they remained in the game. How neither player got ejected is completely beyond us. Afterwards, they were each fined. Beckham was suspended for a game, and the rivalry continued with much less intensity. Number three, Akeep Talib versus Michael Crabtree. Oh Denver yeah, the stats just changed. He Raiders deboed his ass. 2017. Oh, we have a fight on the other side. Look at this. This altercation was a year in the making. During a scuffle that took place a year earlier, defensive back Akeep Talib had ripped off wide receiver Michael Crabtree's chain, and the two parted ways with bad blood. To kick off round two, Crabtree blocked Talib all the way out of bounds. Both players went to the ground, and a brawl ensued. Their teammates Damn. ran to the scuffle, and somehow Crabtree and Akib escaped the group and got into a full-on fist fight. Well, this is crazy because now you're going to get ejected from the game. I mean, this is just selfish. When when your own self-interest are more important than no, the team... No, fuck that. He snatched his grandmama chain. You got to get back at him. Once again, made sure to rip off Crabtree's chain. 
Talib and Crabtree were both ejected from the game for the fight. Oh, they nigga. were initially handed two game suspensions. His grandmama that gave him that chain. To one apiece. This scrap is definitely one for the books. They're ejected. They knew that was coming. Yep. Personal foul Just can't do it. Number two, Mason Rudolph. Oh, versus yeah. Miles Garrett, Pittsburgh Steelers versus Cleveland Browns, 2019. Mason Rudolph. I heard you like concussions. How about, about another one? Out to Chisel. Child to Chisel the Dodgers. Really meant for protecting heads. I'm not bashing them. <laughs> Near the end of this game between Pittsburgh and Cleveland, Steelers quarterback Mason Rudolph and Browns defensive end Miles Garrett got tangled up. Rudolph grabbed Garrett's face mask, and Garrett retaliated by grabbing Rudolph's helmet, ripping it off, and hitting the quarterback in the head with his own protective equipment. Steelers center Marquise Pouncey stepped in to punch and kick Garrett, and Browns defensive tackle Larry Ogunjobi shoved a player. And then Ogunjobi comes up and hits Rudolph from behind. Yeah, they started whooping Garrett his ass. Garrett was suspended indefinitely before eventually getting reinstated and players from both teams involved in the scrap were fined a total of more than half a million dollars. Number one, Andre Johnson versus Cortland. Yeah, Houston Texans versus Andre Tennessee Johnson, Titans, boy. Beat the fuck, snatched his, snatched his helmet off and then beat the fuck out of him. He ain't no dummy. At the time, Andre Johnson wasn't no idiot, bro. He snatched his helmet off and then proceeded to give this nigga the beats. You, hands and feet, nigga. Hands and feet, nigga. Fuck that. Tennessee cornerback Cortland Finnegan had a reputation around the league and among fans for being a dirty player. Throughout this game, he was being awfully chirpy with Texans receiver Andre Johnson, who at the time was one of the league's best at his position. During the last quarter of the game, Finnegan made the mistake of aggressively pushing his hands into Johnson's face. Fed up with Finnegan's behavior, snatched Johnson his helmet off, off the quarterback's it. helmet. Finnegan Beach. retaliated, resulting Beach. in a bizarre fight Beach. between two helmetless <laughs> players on the field. Both teams rushed to break up the fight, and Finnegan and Johnson were ejected. That's gotten ugly. The fight cost both players $25,000, but neither was suspended. We hope Finnegan learned his lesson. Do not mess with Andre. Not at all. You just don't see that in the NFL very Beach. often. Beach. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure oh man that was a good one but anyways though that's just gonna about do it for this one nfl season is here we about to get ready to watch us some good old football man baseball get the fuck out of here WNBA, we ain't gonna be thinking about y'all when this shit start up so WNBA, you better get it while you can because when football start up you're done caitlin clark we don't care angel reese baby girl we love you we love them yeeks but uh we don't care. <laughs> we do not care. <laughs> Shout out to Mike Tomlin. But anyways, though, let's just go about doing it for this one. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, peace out.